Certainly, it was a rough summer. And there were a lot of people. People were, were commenting, and there were most of the comments were not not were not very flattering. Uh, there is, a, I think, that the the I've I've said right along that the problem here is not with the rules. I think there are pretty clear rules about what is what is properly ex expensed to the to the public dime in the Senate and what is not. Uh, and we what we and we have here the instances of four senators who. For whatever reason, uh, chose not to not to abide by those rules. And the unfortunate thing is that people, understandably, say, "Well, those are just the four that got caught. Everybody's doing that." Well, I know that's not the case. Uh, I think that most of my colleagues uh, are behaving very honorably and uh, and and are are careful in the uh, expenditure of, of of public funds. Some are not. That's the rules. The rules caught those who weren't, who were not following the rules. And uh, I think that obviously we'll be looking at, uh, at the rules. We'll be looking at the results of the Deloitte audit. As you know, the Auditor General is now coming in and is reviewing the, um, the uh, expenditures of all senators, not just a few, but everybody. And uh, I'm sure that uh, he will have, when, that, when that's concluded, he will have some suggestions as to how we can improve our procedures and our policies. These uh, accounting procedures and controls are, are a work in progress. They're in any business, in any organization. They're constantly being improved as new best practices are being identified. And the Senate is no different. But uh, I think it's, um, it's understandable but I think unfair that uh, the, the reputations of the Senate and the reputations of most senators are being uh, harmed uh, by the actions um, of a few.